Hello, this is Rick from MathX, and today we'll be doing number 30 from the 2018 5th 6th Math Kangaroo. Now, this problem is actually surprisingly easy for a number 30. Compared to many of the other problems on Math Kangaroo, this one doesn't have that much thought whatsoever. I mean, there's still some thought required, but like, not as much as I expect from a number 30. Anyways, without further talk, let's just get right into the problem. Right, numbers. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 in the 7 circles to obtain equal sums along the 3 straight lines. What is the sum of all possible numbers that can be placed in the circle with the question mark? Basically, the question wants us to write each of these 7 numbers in, one, in each of these 7 circles, and it wants to figure out how many different values can we put in the question mark so that the sums in each of the lines are all equal. Well, to start, I think it would benefit us greatly if we drew a large diagram and start plugging in values to see how this would work. So let's do that. So here's a really rough sketch of what's going on here, but it gives us an idea what's what we what we should do. So first, in order for all three of these columns to be the same, there's one thing you can note right from the beginning. The number in the middle is going to be counted three times in each of these columns. So if we call this constant x, then that means the sums of all the three rows to be the same. Well, they already have x in common. So it comes down to what the components of the opposite circles be. So basically, the sums of the opposite circles for each line has to be this equal to the sums of the opposite circles for the other two lines. So that means that if this is A and this is B and this is C and this is D and this is E and this is F, basically, in order for this line, this line, and this line to all have equal sums, A plus B has to be equal to C plus D, which also has to be equal to E plus F. It basically comes down to whatever number we have here, we just have to be able to split the other numbers into being equal with one another. Let's start from the beginning. Let's say that 3 is in the middle. We have to be able to arrange 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that 2 of the numbers add up to the uh, another 2 numbers add up to another 2 numbers. If 3 is in the middle, that actually works out perfectly fine, because then we get 4 plus 9 equals to 5 plus 8 equals to 6 plus 7. So we see that 3 could be in the middle. Next, we see 4. Unfortunately, with 4, it doesn't work out so cleanly. Because in order for all these numbers to have equal sums, sum that all these numbers must add up to has to be a multiple of 3. But when we have 4 in the middle, 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 does not have a multiple of 3. So we can already exclude 4 from being in the middle. Same thing with 5. If we keep 5 in the middle, the sum of the remaining numbers is not a multiple of 3. So then it cannot be written as this. 6, though. If we keep 6 in the middle, we can arrange the numbers into 3 and 9, 4 and 8, and 5 and 7. And these and these pairs of two all have equal sums, showing that six could be in the middle. Seven, we reached the problem earlier faced. The sum of all the numbers except for seven is not a multiple of three, so it cannot be written in this way. Same thing with eight. The sum of all the numbers excluding eight is not a multiple of three, so it cannot be written in this way. With nine, we get another case that works, because the sum of all the numbers excluding nine is also a multiple of 3. So it can be written this way. For example, 3 and 8 compare, 4 and 7 compare, and 5 and 6 compare. So we see that our three solutions are 3, 6, and 9. Now the question asks us, what is the sum of all possible numbers that can be placed in the circle with the question mark? Well, we got 3, 6, and 9 to be three numbers that can be placed in the circle with the question mark. So they want us to sum up all these numbers 
3 plus 6 is 9, and 9 plus 9 is 18, so the sum is E, or 18. Now this problem wasn't that hard. We just had to realize that whatever X is, it forced it so that A plus B had to equal C plus D, and E plus F to all be equal with one another. And once we got there, we, we just had to, to make the computation easier. We just realized that this only works if the sum of all the numbers except for the number in the middle is a multiple of 3. From there, we can easily pick out three cases, and then we're done. Showing how this number 30 for a 56 math kangaroo is actually surprisingly easy.